I'm talking to Chris Johns, Chief Engineer at B-Sky-B, about a seminar that's taking place next year, organised by Simpty and the EBU, on the future of television. Chris, tell me kind of what you think is going to come out of next year's seminar. The thing we've got to do now is identify what we need to do in five years' time. From Sky's perspective, we need to start putting into the set-top box now what we're going to need to deliver to the customer in five years' time. From Simpty's perspective, they need to identify what products and what standards they need to put in place for delivering those, those, those events. Now, something typically we're looking at and is coming around our IBC is 4K. Is it going to be 4K? Is 4K going to be the next big thing? Do the consumer want, does the consumer want 4K? How are we going to deliver it? You could say that 4K is one element. You could have high frame rates as another element. For sport, higher frame rates will actually deliver better quality than more pixels, i.e. the 4K. So which direction do we go? So next, next, next year is going to be an interesting scenario where we're actually going to look at all these elements with SMT. 4K, higher temporal, higher, higher frame rates. Is it better, better colour? People want more colours. There was more colours in the screens. Are we going to have to look at um, second screens? Is second screen going to be the way to go? And how do you deliver that? Is it the same picture? Do we have new pictures? Is it a different stream? There's lots and lots of facets that we need to define here and now as we move forward for coming into fruition in five, ten years' time. What are you identifying as the real crunch points in terms of this future? The crunch point is going to be is trying to identify what the consumer wants. We don't know. We've got to try and stay on, I used the phrase yesterday, the crest of the wave. We're surfing. We're at the crest of a wave. We can either look forward and try and surf down that wave and grasp what the consumer really, really wants to have in the, in the future. Or we can just wallow and sit around to see what's happening and just fall back into the water and wait for the next wave. If you're a commercial organisation, you need to be looking forward. We need to be identifying what is going to be happening in the consumer marketplace and embracing that rather than just wallowing and trying to find out what's going to be the next thing. I mean, with all these options that you've described, it's not getting any easier. So from Sky's point of view, what is the one thing that you identify that might emulate the success of 3D? Now, there's a question. If I knew that, we'd be doing it here and now. 3D only happened three years ago. If you, if you look at it three years ago, it wasn't a twinkle in anybody's eye, and now it's everywhere. So we've got to try and find something. It, it'll, be a, it'll be a quantum leap. It'll be something very strange. It could be second screen. It could be something integrating with second screen. It could be 4K. It could be more temporal. But that's subliminal to the viewer. The viewer won't recognize that. That'll be just a small increase in what they're looking at. It has to be something big and different. And that's why we've got such a huge R&D department at Sky and a research department for these products. It's just to identify what the consumer is going to use in the next few years. That's an important point because your R&D department is, is chiefly focused on what the consumer is going to want. That's, that's what your 3D is about. But with the research department is not just in researching new technologies. It evaluates all the technologies being delivered by the likes of Apple. If you look at the, the iPad, would we ever have thought we were delivering second screen into the home on an iPad two years ago? Probably not, but now everybody thinks it has got to be the second screen. You want, you have to be, we've got Sky Go. You have to be able to watch these things on a portable device on your lap in home. It could be something similar that, that comes on, a consumer device appears in the marketplace. We have to embrace it. We've got to make sure we're looking for that, that item to embrace. Chris, thank you very much.